Hello everyone, this is Dr. Jude, a PGN Research Department of Physics, St. Joseph's College of Arts and Science, Kadalur. We are going to discuss about the fundamentals, uh, current voltage resistance. And what is current? It is a rate of flow of charge. Usually we refer the charge as negative. And the measure of current is in terms of ampere. Ampere is a unit and definition is rate of flow of charges per second and one coulomb of charge flowing through a conductor per second so it is a measurement of current and termed as ampere the unit for current is ampere uh, as we know when there is a flow of current there is an abstraction and you can the abstraction is varies according to the material if the current flows is uh, abstracted or a uh, obstruction is offered by the particular material then we the phenomena we can term it as a resistance usually it is denoted by r every material has an electrical resistance and this is the reason why conductors gives out heat when current passes through it when there is an obstruction the flow of charges get obstructed in their path so you can imagine th the splitting of uh, charges from the conductor and the energy is dissipated in the form of heat from the conductor and you can feel the heat the energy dissipated in the form of heat energy this is the reason why we are uh, while uh, a conductor is quite passing through a conductor for a time so it gives out uh, expels out heat from it. The unit of electric current is uh, amperes as we uh, mentioned earlier and the small current is usually in milli amperes. And there is an important term in the flow of current is the direction of that particular uh, uh, current. Certainly it was believed that uh, the flow of positive charges is the current direction and it is uh, called as conventional current direction usually. Uh, the positive charges flows uh, in the direction and the direction is uh, termed as conventional current direction but negative charges as we mentioned earlier negative charges the electron is the actual flow from one point to another point and the point is uh, uh, the high potential to low potential in nature everything flows from high to low as it is as such the electrons flows from high potential to low potential and there is a force which flows opposite to the these flow of electrons is called as current actually it is uh, the flows electron flows from one point to another point and the force which gets uh, flows from the opposite to the flow of charges is called as current and negative charges usually electrons is term is responsible for the flow of current and the opposite direction of the current flow is called as conventional current direction and the next important term is voltage voltage is defined as the energy which requests to pull the charges the negative charges from one point to another point and uh, by definition one amount joule of energy to move one coulomb of charge from one point to another point usually we define in such a way so the total energy which requires to move the electron from high potential to low potential as a result we receive a force in the opposite to the uh, flow of electrons in the opposite direction and the voltage is the deriving force which moves the electron from one point to another point uh, the energy is referred to the uh, body defined by its position in terms of potential uh, it is also as a, a termed as a electromotive force uh, the electrons get uh, agitated or derived from a point uh, in terms of uh, um, energy in other words the voltage is the difference in the electric potential between two points uh, in voltage we can term it as a potential difference a uh, result is the current you can see the uh, schematic representation of resistance and you can see the voltage deriving force of the charges inside the conductor which makes the current flow and if there is an obstruction offered by the conductor uh, it is called as uh, resistance and this particular resistance phenomena varies from material to material if the material changes definitely the obstruction offered by the particular material by nature changes uh, next uh, fundamental thing is uh, Ohm's law we know that V is equal to IR 
and it is proportional the voltage is proportional to the current uh, and the resistance so where v is current uh, v is, uh, sorry i is current v is per the potential difference and the factors affecting electrical resistance are important the obstruction causes by the conductor it uh, correlates with these parameters the cross sectional area of the conductor the length of the conductor the material of the conductor and the external parameter temperature of the conducting material the cross sectional area is inversely proportional to the electrical resistance length is directly proportional and nature of the material and the external parameter the temperature of the conductor in which it is situated if the temperature changes there is also uh, a change in the value of resistance so you can see the relation over here r is equal to rho l by a a rho is the term resistive of the material it changes according to the material it's a constant value for a particular material and length of the conduct is directly proportional uh, as we said uh, the length if the length changes it is directly proportional means if the length increases length of the conduct increases resistance value is also increases and it is inversely proportional to the cross sectional area of the conductor where the cross cross sectional area of the material increases means the obstruction offered by the particular materials keeps on decreasing and resistivity is, is a qualitative measurement of the material's ability to resist the flow of electric current it varies according to the you can see the representation r is equal to rho l by a where you see the l l by 2 and l if it is length increases the cross sectional area decreases Uh, next one is resistors in series it is a kind of uh, uh, arrangement or circuit where resistance uh, r1 r2 up to rn is connected in series and uh, current uh, current i is flows through the resistance in series circuit both resistors in series and resistance in parallel have their own significant parameters in connecting a circuit you can see the representation of resistors in series it's very simple if you want to accumulate want to calculate the resistance flow that is r1 plus r2 plus r3 it is simply the sum of the resistance 1 2 and 3 up to rn the i current flows through the resistance all these resistances or in the similar from the similar potential difference and next one is resistance in parallel as you see the parallel circuit resistance it's quite uh, the yeah, i can say it is the next one to the um, circuit electrical circuit where resistance is connected parallelly it is, it also has their own significant in connecting a circuit and i1 current flows through r1 and i2 current flows through r2 and i3 current flows to uh, through r3 and there is a difference in the equation it is reciprocal to it if you want to calculate the value of resistance that is total resistance you have to uh, sum it and reciprocate it and you have to sum the value of those resistance like uh, 1 by r1 plus 1 by r2 plus 1 by r3 and so on where voltage is similar but the current flows through the resistance keeps on varying from 1 to 2 2 3 and 4 up to n for the value of equivalent resistor parallel connection is much lesser than the individual resistance household apply appliances as you know our household appliances are always connected in parallel so that even one is switched off the other devices could function function properly this is the one of the advantage over the resistors in series if it is connected parallel if the circuit is di disconnected only one gets that is one circuit gets disconnected since it is connected parallel the the other uh, appliances or sold appliances or electrical appliances keeps on functioning so we not we need not worry about that uh, since it is the connection is in parallel thank you